Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I am Marv. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is going to be the April 2024, uh, the first energy reading of the month for the beautiful sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Aquarius, everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective as well as in the pinned comments. We are going to go in with a love reading, kicking the energy off for you. If you're interested in a personal reading, you can go to www.marvelousmadame.com. That's marvelous, M-A-D-A-M-E.com and um, hit the three lines to the drop down um, and go ahead and book your reading. Okay, you will see what is available when you get there. Let's get into this. So we're going to go in with a love reading. The cards will let us know what the relationship status is. My traditional reading. Three cards, past and present. I will clarify each one of those cards, past and present. Read intuitively, clarify, tell you what I see, Aquarius. And then we will close this out with messages of love. Oracle, this is for Aquarius. Thank you. We're leading with a king of wands followed by the judgment followed by the nine of cups okay looks like an energy that surrounds you and another person let you know the way that the cards come out let me know what the relationship status is seems like there's a lot of passion but there are definitely um a passionate um there is passion for you aquarius you to to them or them to you i'm going to read it for the both of you as best i can um this king of wands knows what he or she wants okay this isn't just me following my tail or you know just you know um doing things willy-nilly with not thinking about it this is definitely intentional this is definitely an energy of um moving toward my what i'm passionate about the way that a king would make moves however the heart place shows judgment it has been a judgment has been placed upon the situation a rethinking a resetting a re um an absolution um uh, you know of maybe and from a standpoint of being reborn um making righting the wrongs of the past um there's definitely an energy between you two of judgment and there are some things that need to be shut down before they can be reset okay and then we follow that up with nine cups um this is um you know a wish a wish fulfilled there means that means that there is a wish so um it looks like you guys it could be each other's wish you to them or them to you our past indicates deception so that kind of clues me in on why the judgment is here right now um and then the top of the deck shows me a king of swords which is indicative of the truth so the passion could be for one another but there are some things in the heart that needs to be set right okay i may be your wish but in the past there was some type of deception where you played with my mind toyed with my emotions lied to me um and here we sit here i stand like the usher album goes now will you be willing to move forward uh with this person aquarius if the truth comes out you are um one that does value truth and should a healing conversation take place between you and this other person um we shall find out it looks like there is an energy of wanting to come clean um but more importantly setting the rights wrong sorry setting the wrongs right okay why are these cards here thank you so yeah the king of wands is being clarified by two of cups i'm passionate about this i am in love with you aquarius i want to find a way to make the past right can we move forward hand in hand and can you watch me be judged for what i have done you to them or them to you um can, can because there is a passion to want to stay here um the um the judgment being clarified by the king of cups 
there is an offer. I want there there's someone that's giving you an unorthodox offer despite everything that has happened. And it may take you by surprise, um, Aqua, because the nine of cups is being clarified by the four of swords. This person has been thinking about it, you to them or them to you. There has been a this person doesn't want to leave this. They don't want to leave it this way. They maybe they've offered you this before, but if an unorthodox offer, an offer that you didn't see coming, um, an offer from someone, person, place, a thing that you love or once love comes out the blue, then you know that that's what this is. I'm going to tell you in the past, my seven of swords is being clarified by a page of swords. So maybe in the past, every single time this individual um, tried to give you something, it was deceptive. Maybe when they made offering in the past, it was deceptive. When they made you a, a, a offer, a love offer, or brought something to the table to bring communication, this page of swords brought a message. Um, maybe it, it was loaded. Maybe it was. Um, I know that pages brings obstacles, but each one of those obstacles you're supposed to glean a message for. You're supposed to extract the lesson from the situation. So this may seem very much so familiar. And that's the reason why you're like, uh, uh, I'm not trying to deal with this. Top of the deck being clarified by three pinnacles. They want to work with you now, Aqua. Whatever unorthodox conversations that you're going to see, it's going to feel like it's coming out of left field. But the irony is, is it shouldn't surprise you, darlings, because you guys are the king and queens of looking at things from a different perspective anyway. The problem is, is it's hard to accept it when it's coming from someone else. So I want you to think about that, um, that dichotomy or look, uh, think about the irony in that. It's like, you know, this isn't left field for this person. This individual do not, does not feel like this is left field. This is a person who's been trying to win your good graces or wants to show you that despite of you feeling like they may be the last person on earth that may want something, that they're the ones that actually does want something. You know, I know that sounds crazy, but that's what this is. That is what I see. I feel like... I feel like you would have never thought in a million years that this person will actually come out. And sometimes you can be, I think a lot of times, guys, you can get in your head, Aquas. Um, you get so caught up in what you think that when reality comes and kind of bites you on the ass, it can take you by surprise sometimes. It's like, I would have never thought in a million years this person would have asked me this. Or I would have, and it's just like, um, this person still is a human. They, they bleed, they make mistakes, they're guilty. They, you know, so don't, don't. Uh, and, and in the sense that may be putting somebody on a pedestal, I understand that sometimes people take us, uh, for people take us by surprise, but it doesn't surprise me personally when a person does this after they've been, after they've made a mistake. Um, what, what is surprising, but, but I can understand where you're coming from because what is surprising is when a person pretends not to do something that you knew that they knew all along. I tell people constantly when they book readings that these people that pretend um, to be ignorant are really not ignorant. They're just not ready to deal with whatever it is you want them to deal with at that moment. So this person is not done by a long shot. What's looking back at me in the main energy and the bonus energies at sea is the Empress and the Hierophant. They're ready for a brand new beginning. They're ready to birth the new beginning. Um, if you guys don't have kids, they want to have kids. Um, they also want you guys possibly either to get remarried. So for some of you, they may be coming to ask you to marry them, ask you to remarry them. Um, they want to offer you something that to you is completely un unorthodox and out of left field, but it's actually not when you think about it. Okay. What's looking back at me in the clarifying deck bonus energies is the two of swords and the three of cups. Of course, you wouldn't think about giving this person another shot because there possibly was, uh, too many friends and you don't trust them. And you've completely blocked yourself out at any chances of love and probably have already, um, made your mind up that you're just going to be rid of this person and you're going to be by yourself. 
And obviously, uh, spirit has different things in mind for you. This person does have an offer that they want to make. All right. What remains in our clarifying energy, believe it or not, is nothing, nothing. So everything that got us where we are today right now is not standing out. All that is standing out is where we are now, which is judgment, empress and hierophant. That is it. This individual has went through a huge reborn session or absolution. Hopefully you have to, because if you just because you were the one that may have been done wrong, my um, beautiful fixed air sign does not mean that you don't need work. Victimization or no matter what type of victims, we also still need to grow. So remember that. One has nothing, the one doesn't stop the other, okay? They actually go hand in hand, all right? Um, but they want to move forward in this terrifying energy, and this is what I'm showing that they want to do. Um, they want the birth, they want a birth of a new beginning with you, and they also, some of you, some of them want to go to counseling, they want to speak to somebody to make sure that you guys are on the same page, just to make sure that you really are, you have, you have the tools to get through this. Okay. All right. The first message of love is broken. I feel shattered about this situation. Regrets. I wish this never happened. And what's our last card, please, spirit? All right. What's our last card? Nothing is coming out. My goodness. Chemistry. Yet, I've never felt a passion this intense. So, you know, guys, listen. At the end of the day, this individual wants a new beginning. And it may seem completely unorthodox and out of left field. But it's not. It's not. So, you may have some choices that you need to make. Like, share, and subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. Everything that you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. And I'll see you in the next one. And number two. Bye, guys.